Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook, please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe. New Earth News Dreams About New Earth, Three Waves, and the Event by Victoria Trinity, New Earth News Correspondent. I had my first dream of New Earth about 10 years ago. I had been on my awakening journey for about 15 years, most of the awakening revolved around the systems and their mechanisms of control. Politics. Education. Religion. Money. I was not aware of New Earth or the event and was only slightly aware of Ascension. The dream changed all that. In my dream, I was outside of a massive, wooden house with a wrap around deck. I knew the house was mine. I tuned into my maid and felt his presence to be out in the garden. The house was tucked into a beautiful, lush pine forest. The sky was a brilliant blue. The air. Pure and clean. Children between the ages of 5 to 8 or so were running around, all of them in overalls. I decided it was time to feed them, so I called them inside. The next scene I'm inside a large kitchen, looking out the kitchen window. I knew the kids wanted peanut butter sandwiches. Upon knowing this, I simply thought the words, knife, bread peanut butter, and suddenly, as if out of thin air, a butter knife, bread and peanut butter appeared in front of me on the counter. Wow, I thought only to hear, my new skills are coming along nicely. I then looked around, seeing a massive river rock fireplace in the living room. I watched the children and knew one of them was mine, a girl. The dream then ended. I said nothing about this experience. As I felt it out over the next few days, I concluded I was on an Earth-like planet. I could not explain or justify why I felt this way. I just knew. About a year later, my maid awoke one morning, telling me he had the most vivid, amazing dream. He went on to tell me about the purity of the air, the massive house, the forest, the river rock fireplace. He then went on to say he knew I was inside with a bunch of kids, who, oddly enough, were all running around in overalls. My jaw dropped. My eyes widened. Were you out in the garden? I asked. He looked at me with eyes equally as wide. I continued. I had the same dream a year or so ago. We shared our experience compared notes and realized we had both been to the same place, a place we would be called to go to one day. We just had no clue how or when. Before I continue, I need to say about a year after my mate's dream, we discovered I was pregnant, with a girl. She looked identical to the girl we both saw in the dream. She is about to turn eight. Since the first dream, I have returned to the house, both in the astral, dream state and in my meditations, as has my mate. In one dream I was outside, looking up at the house. There was a light dusting of snow on the ground. I was standing beside a very large wood shed, which was stacked with wood. The feeling I had was one of pure contentment. The knowing of, I did it. I made it, was profound. In the dream I had on this pair of off-white winter boots, which I didn't own at the time, that is until I saw the exact pair on one of those online shopping channels. They now sit in my foyer. I have returned to explore the town. The roads are all soft brown dirt. No asphalt. I seem to hang out at the local diner where I play the piano for the locals. There is an ocean nearby and the town is surrounded by mountains. It all feels like home. After having the first dream, I began reading about this thing called the solar flash. The event. My awakening took on an even more expansive version. Like Greg Prescott of In 5D, I had a dream about three tidal waves of energies about two years ago. In the experience, I remained grounded, observing advising my daughter and mate, who were with me in the dream, to do the same. Allow the experience. Observe. 
Do not get lost in the drama, I said. I watched as people were tumbled around with each wave. I saw nothing destructive. Some of the people who tumbled had big grins on their face. Then a little over a year ago I had a dream of the event. I was walking up my street, in a state of absolute serenity. I knew things had switched. I could feel certain energies had been turned off, for lack of a better description. I knew all was well and nothing would ever be the same again. The skies were a brilliant bright milky white color, which I could look at without a problem. Looking to the south I saw a variety of planetary objects. I can finally see them with my physical eyes, I recalled thinking happily. I then saw a neighbor of ours who I do not recall ever seeing smile. He doesn't wave either, perhaps a nod a few times a year. He came out of his house with a huge smile on his face. He greeted me in a way I had never seen. Wow, I thought. This energy really does affect everyone. I looked around trying to get a feel on the season. Early spring, I concluded as the dream experience ended. Like Greg. I have a website on Ascension that I began back in the fall of 2016. As a result, I have connected with so many amazing, beautiful beings who, like us all, are so very ready for New Earth. For the event, I have made new friends, some of whom I know I will be seeing on New Earth, including one who it turns out is in the same community as I am. He's even seen my house and myself and my girl walking along the lake. I have also met people who have seen the children in the overalls. Many have similar large, rustic looking but otherwise very solid wooden homes, nestled in the pine forest. Learning that I am not the only one to have had these visions and dreams has been amazing. As my mate says, today's a good day, for the event. I can, from the depths of my heart, fully and truthfully say those of us who are aware and awakened to this beautiful experience are very much ready to transition, to return to how we once lived, created, experienced, eons ago, only in ways that are new. To fully remember. To live fully and freely. To reunite with old friends. The tears flow as I type these words. It is time to go home. Victoria Trinity, thank you for watching and sorry about my computer voice. If you haven't already, please subscribe to In5D YouTube videos. Due to new algorithms and shadow banning on Facebook. Please subscribe to In5D and get all updates delivered to your inbox in one simple email. Just go to In5D.com to subscribe.